Now, what is being done here is that have, having completed the uh, Smith Peterson osteotomies, uh, we pay, we pa I'm passing uh, universal clamps. And the universal clamps are being used for the apical uh, vertebra, uh, which will aid in translation of the apex of the spine to the concave rod, uh, so that we don't have to worry about uh, pulling out pedicle screws placed on the concavity, which will be very far from the concave rod. As so you realize, I uh, remember that initially she had a significant coronal plane deformity with translation to the convexity of the lumbar spine, and therefore it will be a need not just to correct the lumbar curve, which will worsen her, um, will worsen her coronal deformity, but, in, but instead to translate her trunk and by shifting it to the right or towards the concavity. And this is very important uh, uh, and it can be best achieved with uh, coronal plane translation. And the universal clamps does a very good job in doing this. Uh, moreover, it's also very important to pay attention to the fractional lumbosacral curve. Uh, by correcting the fractional lumbosacral curve, that also allows us to shift her from left to right to improve her coronal shift. Uh, it's very, very easy to fall into a trap of trying to correct the lumbar curve, which is more flexible than the lumbosacral fractional curve, and then ended up with, ending up with a worsening of the coronal plane deformity. The universal clamps are passed just like we would pass sublaminal wires. A general style ligamentum flavum excision is performed in, by, by doing the ponte osteotomies. Universal clamp is a, a curve to the width of the lamina and then pass from inferior to superior uh, using a needle holder. Uh, the, the universal clamp is a, a pretty uh, safe uh, flat tape uh, which hugs the undersurface of the, of the lamina. And, uh, uh, again, it's safe for the, uh, to prevent injury to the dura itself. One has to know how to use the universal clamp uh, so that it can be attached to the rod. And in this case, we are using a 5.5 millimeter uh, cobalt chrome rod, and the universal clamp uh, itself is uh, made of titanium, so that is compatible. So the universal clamp is passed here, and as you can see, that with this is sawing motion and by pulling instead of pushing uh, down. Uh, and then the clamp is passed through the, the band clamp. The tape is passed through the band clamp, which will eventually be connected to the, uh, to the rod. So it goes through the first eye, and then it comes around through the second eye, and then loops over itself, and then comes back into the second eye again, uh, and then it forms the lock. And it's important here to make sure that the, the tape is properly oriented under the dura so that it's not turned on itself. So the clamp goes through the first eye, the tape goes through the first eye, and then goes through the second uh, eye of the base of the uh, clamp itself, and then it loops over itself back in and this is where it will uh, provide the locking. So the second passage, when it's turned over the split the, uh, eye of the uh, base of the clump, will then allow the locking mechanism. So now it is locked, but can still be advanced with a special instrument after the rod is uh, attached to the, the band clamp portion. So we have two apical uh, universal clamps which will be attached to the concave rod, which will, which will lie very far out to the right, and then will translate the spine over to the concave rod. So here we're passing the third clamp, uh, proximal, again, so that we have a more effective translation of the concavity of the spine uh, to the uh, pre-bent concave rod. So three universal clamps have been attached uh, to the L1, 2, and 3 levels.